What is up everyone? This is Somnath Gowder from Future Coders. In this video tutorial, we are going to be building this random color generator using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So let's have a look at what exactly are we going to be building in this video. As you can see, this is a random color generator. Here you are seeing the RGBA value of this color that you are seeing in the background. If I click anywhere over here, as you can see it generates a new random color and here is the value of that here is the value of rgb value of that color if i click on it again again different color it's going to generate a random different color every time i click on it so guys this is what we are going to be building in this video so before we start building this please make sure you subscribe to our channel and also don't forget to leave a like on this video so let's get start by building this <laughs> So here I have created three files index.html, styles.css and script.js file. Here I have generated the boilerplate for html and also I have linked the local css file that is styles.css and here I will also link the script.js file that is our javascript file. There we have it. So let's understand how are we going to be building this. So inside the styles.css there are many ways uh, on how we can set the background color of the body right one way is we can say background color directly i can specify the name that is background color yellow or i can put some hex value which is going to generate the color okay it's going to the six values right okay hex color we can do that and we can also generate the color by saying RGB, red, green, blue. Red, green, blue are the main colors, guys. Using the variations of red, green, blue actually generates uh, other different colors, right? Here I will say 123. The green value I can say I don't know what here what are what the color is going to be, but here I will add some random. As you can see, this is the color that is generated by these numbers. It is these these numbers actually vary from 0 to 255. Okay, by varying the uh, colors uh, red, green, and blue, we can generate all other colors. So this is the method which we are going to be using to generate random colors. How? I will show you how. First things, let's head over to our JavaScript file. We don't have any work yet in the body file. First things first, let's head over to JavaScript file. As I said, we are going to use the RGB, right? Red, green, and blue. The numbers actually vary from 0 to 255, right? So we need to generate random numbers, right? From 0 to 255. Here I will define a variable let red. And to generate a random number, as we as you might have already know that we can generate a random number using a math.random function, which is provided by the math object, right? So here I will say math.random and I need to generate a random value between 0 to 255. So here I will say 256. Why 256? Uh, this math.random is going to generate a number including 0 but excluding the last number. We also want the 255, right? So actually, I want to generate uh, numbers between 0 to 255. So adding an extra one will also add the 0 255 also. But it is going to exclude the 256. And let's see what actually are we having inside the red va red variable. If I console log, As you can see, it is generating a number. Actually, as you can see, it's also generating 255, right? Every time I refresh, it's going to generate a new random number. But I don't want this uh, gibberish, right? After the point, I don't want that. So here I can re get rid of that by saying mat.floor. Let's wrap the mat.random function around these. As you can see, the gibberish actually got rid, and here, as you can see, it's generating a random number between 0 to 255. Like that, I'll do the same for green values. 
so now we have random numbers of red green and blue using these numbers we can we know that we can generate a random color right that's it here i will say let's console log these also red so that you can see as you can see 126 33 66 and if i refresh the numbers change here i will just show you by adding this inside the rgb let's get rid of this what was that 189 right let's also add commas as you can see this is the uh, number is presentation of this color now we have these numbers right now we can actually easily generate a random color right uh, let me show you let's remove this first okay here uh, I want to add a style document dot body inside the document we have access to the DOM element right uh, the whole we are accessing the whole document and then the body for the body I need to change the style right here I will say style and I want to change the background color that's very simple here will say background color and the background color the value is going to be here I will just say back text it's going to be the RGB right RGB and here I will insert the these variables these variables are actually containing the random numbers between 0 to 256 right that's what we need here I will just open a dollar symbol and a curly bracket and here I will insert my variable similarly a comma and green value again a comma and again a blue observe guys if I save this as you can see now we have a different now we are actually setting the background color using this code and we are actually setting the red green and blue this value if I refresh of course the codes, color codes are actually changing and the color is also changing as you can see that's how it actually works okay now once we have done that now it's time to work on HTML part guys so that we can show the RGB value of that how am I gonna do that here I will just say I will create a do with a class name of container and s2 with an ID of RGB so that I can grab access to the s2 tag inside my JavaScript file and once I am done with that here I will say const RGB document dot get element by ID and the ID which we gave is RGB right so now we have access to that h1 element now all I have to do is RGB dot inner text and here I will open again back ticks here I'll define the RGB the same thing guys I'll just copy this same thing I have to do as you can see it's actually displaying over here if I refresh the color code color is going to change and the values are going to change as you can see now let's style this a bit I will be using a custom font from the Google fonts that's going to be the open sans you don't have to use that okay I'll be using custom from the custom font from the Google fonts we'll head over to Google fonts and import this font okay by default our browser applies some default margin and padding right here I will say margin 0 padding 0 box sizing to border box and that will get rid of all the default margin and padding and for the body let's set the height to 100 view height let's make the uh, h1 or h uh, which am I using that s2 yes as to come in center horizontally and vertically to do that I will say display flex align items to the center justify content to the center that will bring it to the center and I will now target the container which is holding the s2 tag I will set the background color to white 
and let's also add a padding of 2 rem a border radius of 2 rem and finally a box shadow of rgb a value of 0 0 0 and 0.35 and 0 pixels 5 pixels and 15 pixels that's it guys if i refresh as you can see the color codes are actually changing now the main thing is whenever i click somewhere over here i need to change the color i need to generate a random color right it's very simple guys there are two ways uh, on which on how we can do this uh, let's uh, on how we can do this i will show you the second method okay and the first method is actually creating a function and putting these code put put putting these inside that function and calling that function whenever i click somewhere over here or else what you can do is a very simple solution is to add a body and on click listener on that whenever uh, whenever i click somewhere in the body i will say window dot location dot reload okay this is going to reload the page guys okay observe guys if i click anywhere around here as you can see it gets clicked and the color is going to change so guys that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed and hope you guys learned something from this video and please make sure you subscribe to our channel and also don't forget to leave a like on this video i will see you in the next one thank you for watching Thank you.